Good afternoon or good evening, I guess it is. Jesus, probably eight o'clock. Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Donna and I am the owner of Doodots and Designs and I have a chair that I'm gonna paint tonight. And I came on last night with the intentions of painting the chair and kind of got sidetracked and got talking about some other stuff, but this is a chair that I have purchased at the ReStore. Um, there's nothing wrong with it other than it's pink and it's kind of kind of dirty um, not really dirty I guess you would say it's more stained just kind of some different areas but you know I've painted chairs in the past and I've used my own chalky type paint but I have heard great things about the PIY paint and I'm gonna try it tonight on the fabric so I have chosen and this is a it's a very sturdy chair and um, I think what I'm going to do is just paint the fabric and I haven't really decided. I haven't chosen really a, a color for the wood. I may even leave the wood as it is because it's a beautiful dark wood. Maybe do this a, a gray. Um, we have options too because it has some beautiful piping around it. You know, you could take like the rub and buff or something or maybe do a, a, a different color around the piping. Um, I don't know it's still out so let's get started and the first thing you need to do when you're painting fabric is when you're using a chalky type paint and that's what I'm going to be using um, you need to wet the fabric the fabric is very porous remember it's not like a piece of furniture it's actually a fabric it has a lot of fibers and a lot of places for paint to soak in so what you need to do is wet your fabric down I see my little pooches in the background y'all don't pay any attention they're kind of all over the place tonight oh let me see I got one over here. You want to see? Let me show you. I got, there's Zoe. <laughs> and then Tallulah is running around here with me somewhere. She's back over here. So anyway, let me fix this camera. If you come on, say, hey, let me know you're here. How was your day? Uh, the color that I've chose is called Amazing Gray. It's a beautiful gray color. It's one of my favorites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray the fabric down. I think I'm going to start on... I'm going to start on the back because that will be easier for you to see. But I'm just going to give it a, a quick mist. What the water does, it actually opens up the nap of the fabric so that the paint actually will absorb into this. Um, it will take more than one coat of paint, just like with furniture. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same way, except you need to have it wet. You guys are under this chair. You're going to get sprayed with water. <laughs> you're not going to be real happy when that happens. Okay. So not, not a lot. I don't want to soak it. I just want to moisten the surface. Like I said, to open up that nap. I don't know if you can see me. I probably got my back to you. Hold on. There you go. Just open up the nap so that that paint will get in there. The first coat will be a real light coat. I know water in a spray bottle works fine. I did go through and anytime you buy a fabric, a chair, or a sofa, or something like that, I'm always worried about what might come in it. Like if there's a, a mouse or something. <laughs> I did go through and check it, and I did the ultimate test, which is the smell test. I stuck my nose to the furniture and smelled it, just to make sure it didn't smell like cigarette smoke or anything. It actually didn't have an odor. It's like I said, it's a really good chair. It's been taken really good care of. Um, April's on. Hey, April, how are you? Thanks for joining. April, have you ever painted a chair? It's actually pretty fun. And let me tell you, um, and I've been asked this many times, when you paint a chair, is it hard? Is it crunchy? Does it feel like paint? Actually, it doesn't. It actually feels like leather. So what you do is you paint it and you let it dry overnight or let it dry as long as it needs to. Put that second coat on it. If it covers in two coats, then you, then you wax it and you'll take your wax and you go all over it and that's where you start seeing it looks more like leather than it. It's very, very soft and it's very durable. I actually have a chair behind me. I don't know if you can see this. I have a piano that's behind me. That chair there actually is a fabric chair and I found that on the side of the road and I painted it and it's beautiful. I love it. I've, I've had it for a long time. It just kind of sits there. Kids play on it. It doesn't hurt it. Cat sleeps on it most of the time. It doesn't hurt it either. And actually it wipes off a lot easier now 
than it did when it was fabric. You know, when the animals are sitting on it, you get all those hairs all up inside there. So, actually, it's better. All right, so I've wet the back of it. I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to go ahead and get my paint out. And another tip for when you're painting fabric, you need a stubby brush, a real stiff brush. So I had an old paint brush that was pretty much worn out and the tips of it were all gooped together and I couldn't clean them and I couldn't really paint it anymore. It didn't make a smooth finish. So I took the scissors and I cut it off. I just made it real stubby. So it's real hard. So what we're gonna do is take that paint and you're gonna dab it into the fabric because painting it like this, you really don't get it in there. You need to actually get it down into the fabric. So I'm gonna do that. Speaking of dabbing, anybody ever heard of the dance dabbing? <laughs> I've been around some young kids today and they were doing the dabbing. You wanna see my demonstration of dabbing? It's crazy. It's like they say you sneeze into your elbow, you go, that's dabbing. Good God, what do kids do nowadays? It's just, it blows me away. Dabbing? Maybe the twist. More my style. Oh my goodness. Anyway, no dabbing except with a paintbrush. We're not gonna be doing no dancing on here tonight. So I've got my paint. Take a little bit and let's get going. Let's see. And I'm gonna stand up to do this because I am on my knees. Let me pick this up so you can see. Yeah. Now this fabric actually has a pattern to it. It's a thick upholstery material and it has, um, what is that called? I can't remember what the pattern is called. It'll come to me in a minute. you're just dabbing it in there. Getting it all down inside there. This will be a beautiful chair when it's finished. I haven't decided um, if I'm going to put a pattern on it. Um, Lots of, there's lots of things you can do. You can, um, you can put a stencil on the back. You can do a French grain stripe down the middle. Um, anything. I mean, you can use stencils on this. You could do anything you want. You could, uh, you could do plaid, polka dots, just about anything. So you don't have to have a solid color chair. but it doesn't matter because I'm going down there anyway. Any ideas for a pattern or color suggestions? Like this, this is a real pretty light colored gray. Does anybody have any suggestions as to a, a color, an accent color maybe that would go good with the gray? Should I leave this dark like it is or should I paint it? This would paint really quickly. This is not hard at all. You know, and with the fabric, you don't have to use, you don't have to worry about um, brush strokes because you're not going to see them. Okay, so this is probably going to have to dry overnight. And I might even take it outside, which probably would be good. It's, it's, it's very hot here in Texas. I don't know where everybody else is from, but here in Texas, it's, it's almost 100. I'm surprised it hadn't hit 100 yet, and, and it probably has in some parts of Texas. Let me see if there's any comments. Hey, Dusty, thanks for joining. Uh, did you mix uh, with a medium? What's the formula? No, actually, Dusty, I did not. It's just regular chalky type paint. What I did was went ahead and I sprayed the fabric before I painted it so it opens up the nap of the fabric. 
And after it dries, I'm gonna put a second coat on, and after that dries, um, in the past, I've taken like um, a light sandpaper and kind of sanded over it, but if it's not, if it's real soft, I'll just take some wax and wax over it and seal it, and that'll be it. It'll feel uh, kind of a leathery um, texture, which to me is fine. I have animals in the house. I have a cat and two dogs, and they like to jump on stuff, so this will work fine with them. Pretty kid-friendly, pet-friendly. You know, I spent $20 on the chair. If my grandkid comes over with macaroni and cheese and messes it up, I'm not going to cry. Just a chair. I like to do projects in the home that are kid friendly, you know, because I love pretty things, but everything in my house is okay if it gets messed up. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'll just make something else. And it's not covering completely. It's got a little, you can still see a little bit of the pink. But I don't expect it to cover with one coat. But I am liking the color way better than the pink, you guys, don't you? Dusty's from Minnesota. Uh, Dusty... <laughs> What's the temperature up in Minnesota? It must be pretty, pretty cool up there. But you guys get hot too, I know. Well, you know, I didn't protect the arms of this. So, more than likely it's gonna get painted because I've already got paint on it, so I'm not worried about it. I think we'll be fine. Now there's a little trick when you get down to the bottom of the chair. Oops, sorry. There's a little trick when you get down to the seat of the chair. You know, you have the little in indention where the, the seat and the back of the chair meet so we're probably gonna have to push that down and dab some paint down in there and then that's gonna take a little longer to dry in there as well but that will be okay I'm trying to remember what this pattern is called on this chair I cannot remember jar when I opened it this was some leftover that I had from another project I don't ever throw anything away I save it you know if you wanted to get really fancy you could probably do some fancy blending with this paint while it's wet you could put two colors together and kind of blend them you could even do have you ever seen the ombre painting where they take it and fade it into another color that would be super cool See, these are fun projects, guys, because these are projects, it doesn't really matter if you mess them up. So what, it's 20 bucks. It's not gonna hurt anything, so play with it, you know? Find something that you wanna try. You wanna mix some colors or do some funky stencils, just about anything. Okay, I'm gonna need to spray the back of this again. I haven't sprayed the bottom, so let me spray this. If you're just coming on and painting fabric on a chair, what I'm doing is I have a chalky base paint and I'm taking water in a spray bottle and I'm spraying the fabric to wet it to open the nap of the fibers up so that the paint can actually get down in it. So that's a really important step before you actually paint it. You want the fabric to be wet. I don't say wet, I mean damp. It doesn't need to be wet. 
So when you need to move, you're fixing to get wet. You are. I'm gonna squirt you, you're gonna be mad. You're gonna be mad. I told you. <laughs> She's not real happy with me. Oh yeah, it's about time you moved, I told you. Little animals, they're so precious. Miss Judy, I see Miss Judy on. How are you? What kind of fabric chair is that? And I didn't know you could paint the fabric. Yes, you can, Miss Judy. You can paint it. It's just an upholstery. It's just an old chair that I got from the restore. I paid 20 bucks for it and it's pink. Pink is not my color. <laughs> so you can take a chalky base paint and the paint that I'm using is the PIY line that I carry. Um, and what you do, Judy, is you, before you paint it, you take a spray bottle of water and you wet the fabric and that opens up the nap of the, the material so that the paint can soak in. And I'm going to paint this one coat and then I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to paint it another coat and let that dry. And if it looks like it's covered well, what I'll do is seal it with wax, just like I do on my furniture, and it will make a beautiful leathery type fabric for the chair. It's just a great inexpensive way that you can repurpose an old piece of furniture that somebody's going to throw away or you don't like the color. Um, I don't know if you could paint leather. I'm thinking you probably could. I don't know. I haven't tried that. But I can tell you that wetting the the uh, fabric is probably the best tip because I'm not using near as much paint. I have painted before fabric and I didn't wet it and actually it took a lot more paint. So this is good, it's a good tip. Let's get it all down inside there. And if you're just coming on too, what I did was take a regular paintbrush that I have and actually cut it down and made it kind of into a stubby brush. I want a real stiff brush because I'm not painting it like a piece of furniture. We're not going back and forth. We're just kind of dabbing it in there and I'm kind of smooshing, that's my word, smoosh, smoosing that paint down into the fabric fibers so that it, it bonds with that fabric. I know every time I paint a chair, somebody is always like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you painted that chair. And you know, and they're, they're kind of unbelievers, I want to say, you know, you're doubters. I get it. I mean, first time I thought about painting fabric too, I thought somebody is a lunatic. Are you kidding? Um, but after the finished product, product was beautiful and I loved it. I was like, this is not bad at all. Now, would I go buy a brand new chair that looked like this that was painted? No, I would not because I like crushed velvet and all that beautiful fabric, you know. But for repurposing a chair, this is great. It's so simple. It's not hard at all. Let me check questions. Amy, hi, Miss Amy, how are you? Thanks for joining tonight. Amy said, I'm glad you're doing this. Oh, good, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're happy I'm doing it too. I'm happy I'm doing it as well. Um, you need some guidance. I was just asking around to figure out how to paint the fabric of a chair I have. Yeah, perfect, I mean, yeah. Don't throw away those chairs. You know, if they're stained, that's okay. You know, just paint over it. Yeah, just take your chalky base paint 
Well, you're more than welcome to purchase mine, and I'll leave a link, I'll leave a link, uh, an affiliate link on uh, in the feed of this video after we're finished, and you can purchase it. And it's just kind of a a fun, quick way to update some ugly colors in your home. You know, don't go buy a brand new chair. Who has money for that? I hate buying new stuff. It just, I don't know, am I the only one like that? Or you just, it just irks me to go to the store and have to buy something new. The only thing new that I have, or normally have in my home is my sofa and my recliners because I don't like buying chairs that are old because you never know what's gonna come in them. That's another good reason for, for painting this fabric. If there's something in here, it's gonna get covered up. So that's good. No bed bugs. I let, this, this chair has actually been sitting out in the garage for like three or four days and in the heat here in Texas, there ain't nothing gonna live in it, nothing, I promise you. If there was something in it, it'd be gone. Like I said, it was a pretty clean chair when I got it and it didn't smell, so I had to do the smell test. Yeah, and people look at you funny when you're in a thrift store or something and you reach down and you smell like the furniture. <laughs> well, it's important. It's hard to get smells out of fabric. Paint covers it up, it does. But you know with a chair, you got the underside too, so you can't always paint all the way underneath there. Ugh. This is hard on the knees, guys. Elaine Higgins, hi. Uh, you did this about 25 years ago. That is so cool. I know, I used to paint everything when I was younger. Stuff that we would never dream about painting. I've painted many blinds before. How insane is that? Couldn't afford new mini blinds. They were just, just old and er ugly and dirty, so we painted them. That was a job, too. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. So how's it looking, guys? What you think? I know it's just one coat of paint, but what a huge difference than having a pink mauve chair and it's turning into this beautiful gray piece of furniture. I'll definitely be posting this when it's done, just to kind of show you what the finished project uh, looks like. But I think you will be surprised. Oh, darn! Darn! You know what I just did? I didn't take a before picture. <laughs> That's so like me. Do you do that? Do you get into your projects and you completely forget? You get so excited. You just go ahead and dive into them. My goodness. Well, that, who's going to believe me now? I've already painted it. Ah, uh, frustrating. Oh, well. You guys seen it. That's all that matters. you guys just need to get this bottom piece real quick wow this looks like a totally different chair guys I would never dreamed it was an old pink chair Old 
lady try to get up from the floor. Okay, this is the front. I'll turn around and show you the difference. Move, Zoe, honey. Honey, I know you like to sit there. Let me turn around and show you the difference. That was the pink back. And this is the gray. Okay. I'm going to have to go get more paint because I have run out of what I was using. I only had like this much in the bottom of the can, so it goes a long way. But I'm going to continue tonight to paint the fabric and then I'm going to let it dry and I'll probably come back on tomorrow night or the next night and we'll do another coat and we'll kind of go through the steps together to see how it looks when it's finished. So thank you guys for joining. If you have any questions about the paint, uh, comment, leave them in here. I'll, I'll message, uh, I'll get back with you and I'll put a link in here too if you're interested in the PIY chalky type paint for furniture and for fabric. Okay guys, thanks for joining. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.